Last one is from Paul, and this is Cam. Um, dear Lars, I always enjoy your videos, and I've been looking a lot of older ones lately. Thank you so much. Here's a problem I can't find an answer to. Paul sent an image. Actually, Paul sent me a file, and I did upload this file, just because I got to do it once in a while. I got I to gotta do that. So let's go in here and look at Lars Live. And I want the latest updated. All right. So Paul sent me this file here. Um, so we kind of have two kind of grooves here. And um, looking like that. And Paul says, here's a problem I can't find an answer to. The included file have a simple part I model up to show my problem. The part has a tab on the top and a similar tab on the opposite side of the bottom. So the two tabs. Uh, with Fusion 360 2D Adaptive or 2D Contour, we'll select the top or the bottom for the toolpath, but the top toolpath cuts off the top tab and the bottom toolpath cuts off the top tab. How can I machine this part? I'll be watching on Sunday. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Let me show you. This is one of those tips that when you know it inside of Fusion Cam, you say, oh, yeah, I know exactly what the problem is. If you don't know it, you're frustrated. All right, go into manufacture. Let's do a setup on this part here. We're gonna do milling, and I'm gonna select it to be the top, like that. And uh, then we're gonna go, and we're gonna do, it doesn't matter if we do 2D contour or 2D adaptive, same thing. The problem that Paul has is that when he goes in and select the bottom edge, then it will machine that blue edge, and it will cut off the top. Or, if I clear that out, if you select the top batch, it will machine around the top batch, but it will cut off that bottom thing there. Yes. All right, here's the trick, Paul. You're gonna love me after this. Select one of the edges, doesn't matter which one. Then select it again. See how it turns red? Select it again. This little menu here comes, comes up. And when that menu is active, you can actually now tell Fusion kind of where you want it to go. So if I now, with this selected, you can either click, 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 click. So if I click here, it would actually take this contour. But if you see if I click here, it actually looks like it will select the whole thing. So I'm gonna click on that right there. And you see how it moved kind of like this shadow? Here's the trick, when I hit the plus sign, now it took that first section and it brought it down and now it actually machine around of them. When I hit okay, now we have that tool pass. Let me do it again because it's a little weird. I select this top edge. Now I needed to select the bottom edge. Select the edge again. Look for this little menu. You can move it out of the way. And now if I start selecting down here, here, you could actually just click all the way around where you want it to go. But we are good enough where we are right now. Hit the green check mark. Oh, I wasn't good enough. Hit it again. I wasn't paying attention to what I did. I'm just going to select all of them. You can actually select all the way around all the boundaries that you want. Go all the way around, hit the green check mark, and now it actually takes that. So that's how we do it for 2D. This is one of those tips that if you didn't know, you're going to be like, wow, that's something I've been struggling with. So again, the trick is literally to select an edge, select it again, and now you can actually go and you can select other areas. Hit the plus sign, and then you get that out there. And now we can machine all the way around it. So let me go and select the tool just so somebody can see that I'm not lying. And now we hit OK. And now you will see that when we simulate this, the tool will go on the outside of this one and on the outside of that one. That is where we are going to end this week's last live number 15. I hope it was useful. New UI, a lot of things are happening. I think it's okay. I know it's a little frustrating for you. I'm sorry if it is. 
If you like these videos, thumbs up. If you don't, that's okay. Thumbs down. Love your comments. And if you haven't subscribed, it means the world to me if you do. So please do. You guys who haven't.